back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. I had a viewer that had a good experience with the Chemical Guys C4 Clear Cut Correction Compound, the ultimate paint restorer and scratch and swirl remover. I'll share my experience with it today. So what we did is I grabbed a test panel, and we have three sections, and I marked them, uh, taped them off, and I have 600 grit. I have 1500 grit, I have 1000 grit sandpaper. We're going to make some marks within those test areas and we'll see what the C4 clear cut compound can do. The C4 clear cut, 16 ounces or 500 milliliters for, I picked it up for around $20. It is made to cut out scratches, acid rain, etching, severe swirls, holograms and 1200 grit sand marks. You can use the compound with a dual action polisher, random orbital, rotary, or you can even use it by hand. I looked and I couldn't find anything on the abrasive used. I'm going to uh, guess by using it diminishing. The compound is meant to be aggressive so uh, for the most part, you will need to finish down, especially on soft to medium clear coats, with a finishing polish and change out your pad as well. When we are working within the test area, we're going to keep an eye on the open time or the cycle time. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on dusting, if there is any, and we'll try the compound with different pads. And that will do it. We have the test area prepped. Again, 600 grit marks, which is difficult for a lot of not only compounds, but pads as well. And uh, team together to remove that type of imperfection or defect or damage. But we also have 1000 grit and 1500 grit areas as well. So let's get started. Here's the C4 clear cut. We're gonna team it up with a very common pad that's used widely amongst some pro detailers, a lot of do-it-yourself and driveway detailers, and it's an easy pad to get. It's the orange foam uh, heavy polish or light cut pad. And if we need to, uh, in any of these sections, we'll switch over to a pad that I recently showcased that is aggressive. Let's start in the 1500 grit section. Shake the product vigorously. Get that rich formula mixed, mixed together. And it feels like it has a ton of lubrication. I can't really feel the abrasive. So let's get a couple pea-sized drops onto the pad and get to work. We'll do a few passes, maybe a crisscross pattern. Uh, we'll keep the pressure to moderate and uh, correction speed, and the speed of the polisher, somewhere around the fourth speed setting. Keep in mind this is a run-of-the-mill 15 millimeter polisher. You can get more aggressive with a longer throw, like 21 or 22, and you can also use the rotary. And if you want slower results, which would take a bit more time, uh, cutting it by hand is also possible. So far, I can tell you it does have an impressive open time or cycle time. So there's plenty of lubrication there to do as many passes as needed. You can see there's no dusting whatsoever. I love that. And let's wipe off the residue and see how the cut is, especially with this pad. Again, this is a pad that isn't 
very aggressive. It's a common pad that a lot of people can get their hands on, so it's not going to be crazy aggressive so people get in trouble. And it does a fantastic job. Now, uh, to make it perfect, uh, another pass or change up to a more aggressive pad, and um, this would need to be finished down. The clear coat hardness is medium, um, maybe slightly below medium on this hood. Let's move over to the second section here. This is this contains 1,000 grit marks, so a little bit harder. Uh, on the label, it says it can remove 1,200 grit, so we're going beyond that here in the middle section. And then we'll go crazy on the last section that has 600 grit marks uh, just to see what it can do. And nice, impressive, long cycle time. You can take your time, do as many passes as needed. No dusting whatsoever. Plenty of lubrication there. Let's remove the residue. And once again, not perfect. But with the pad we were using, it did very well. That's just a run-of-the-mill meh pad. You can certainly do much better. And by that, I don't mean the quality of the pad. I mean the aggression. You can certainly get way more aggressive than what I have available. Uh, this can also be finished down or a second pass to make it perfect. Let's move over to the 600 grit. That is going to be the ultimate test. Well, since it's attached, let's continue to use this pad. I have no confidence that this will do much when it comes to improvement on this section, but let's give it a go. With the residue removed, we'll see that, um, you know, slight improvement, but the deeper grooves still remain. We will swap over to a more aggressive pad and see if we can make these disappear altogether. We will go from a foam pad to an aggressive uh, short nap wool with foam interface pad. Three piece size drops and we'll go over the area once again.
Well, that's more like it. And keep in mind, this is 600 grit uh, sandpaper marks in this area. There's not a whole lot of combinations, pad or compound, that can remove those marks. So to compare, 3D1 is 29 dollars for 16 ounces. And just like 3D1, if you surround yourself with a bunch of quality pads, you're going to be in great shape and you're going to be successful. And uh, with the no dusting or low dusting and long cycle time, I can recommend 